Okay, guys. Thank you for watching my video. And thank you for subscribing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It's free. I like freebies and I know you like freebies. So please subscribe. Thank you. So today I am here to um, tell you guys how much it costs for the second floor like I always do. Um, so this second floor costs us $9,570. $9,570 and we bought 5,000 blocks but we used um, 4,300 blocks so we have 700 blocks left and I am waiting to get the list of the um, the, uh, the list of the things that we bought and I will definitely uh, post it for you guys to see um, line by line how much everything costs and if everything and uh, the prices have changed in Ghana also because between what I'm videos the videos that I'm putting out and the live chat that I make with um, Kwabena we want to give you guys an idea um, building in Ghana and I know that is going to help somebody. It's going to help somebody, definitely, because what Kwabna is doing is just giving you guys the basic and everything. I mean, he's giving us more, I mean, nice, nice, nice information from Ghana. So combining what I'm, what, what I'm costing and what the cost of my house and what Kwabna is telling us will help somebody out there. So um what i and what else uh, and i what i want to say also is that i did post my foundation cost um superstructure cost and now the second floor cost i post all of it so if you have not watched that video you can go back and watch it you will get a lot of information from that also so including everything the foundation um, superstructure uh, and the second floor we have spent um, 48,570 this house the house you are looking at it now from the foundation our foundation is high the rooms are wide and the ceilings are high uh, and five bedrooms five master bedrooms um, garage every room have a um, walking closet it's a big house we have spent five uh, forty eight thousand forty eight thousand five hundred and seventy um, dollars and you see there's uh, some of the blocks left also we have about 700 blocks left that we are going to use to start building the walls so um, yeah, well, um, that's what I want to come and tell you guys. And um, like I said, if you find somebody that you can trust, Mr. Kumia Barton is doing us a big favor because I think where we are now, if it wasn't him, I don't. I think we'll be spending more than what we are spending. That's what we know, and that's what we believe because we believe because we have friends and we have seen people building houses that uh, it's just the first floor and they spend like forty thousand dollars so we are happy we are happy with what we he has done for us and we 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 appreciate him a lot because in ghana to find somebody to trust is hard like it's kind of like ghana i mean church is monday to friday people just go by business, ripping people off, duping people, lying to people. And then Sunday, every place is closed. Then they are in the church. And some people even think that when they find somebody that they are helping and they are ripping them off, it's the chance that God has given them 
to make money out of you make money out of you which is really sad and we go to church there's more church in ghana than any anywhere else ghana and nigeria and other places and in other african countries but i mean monday to friday do whatever you do and rip people off but sunday go to church and and then you start all over again on, on monday so it is very sad so if you are building in ghana you gotta be really really open your eyes watch a lot of youtube videos people are putting things out there you can learn from it okay don't trust your sister don't trust your mother don't trust people back home and say oh she's my sister also listen if you have a problem with somebody in ghana family member you won't believe that back home the family over there will side with the person that you are uh, arguing with they will side with him they, because they think that oh you don't live in ghana you live here so money is everywhere you pick money from the floor so uh, why are you complaining about uh, something that they did for you why are you complaining it's kind of like you don't have a right to complain and say that oh this person did this or this person uh, did that so do your research and question people don't be afraid to question don't be afraid to seek for answers from people okay don't and don't make people think that you you are you have so much money that when they tell you something and all of a sudden you just give money do your research before you pay for anything else so guys thank you for um watching this video and please subscribe and give me a thumbs up it helps me a lot thumbs up please <laughs> thank you thank you thank you for watching all right see you later bye